Hi, welcome back to Alfred's Apiary. Today is a special day. I'm going to be splitting at least one of my hives. This one here, hive number one, Queen Victoria. What I'm going to be doing is taking this queen and 10 frames and placing that in another box and I'll be moving that up to my Birchard Villa apiary. I'm going to leave behind another 10 frames but they're going to be queenless. So I'm going to need to make sure that they have at least one frame of eggs and very young larvae so that they can raise a queen on their own. It's going to take a little bit of time but I'm willing to do that here and I want to keep this hive from swarming so I'm going to do this split. So stick around and uh, let's learn about splitting this hive. Uh, this episode is for Clark Summit Senior Living. My name is Rob Alfred and I work at Clark Summit Senior Living. Usually on Wednesdays I teach a class to the residents. They really enjoy it and lately we've been learning about beekeeping but because of the pandemic we're not able to be together so I'm going to be putting this video together and then I can show it on our movie channel at work and all the residents can watch it in their room. So come along as we split this hive. Okay so I'm ready to begin. I'm going to smoke this hive a little bit and then I need to find the queen and I'm going to move the queen with brood and other bees into my box down here and see it's sitting right here. Gonna put her in there. And then I'm gonna leave behind in this box a lot of the foragers. They're, they're gonna be coming back to this hive and I want to leave uh, just a maybe one or two frames that have eggs on it so they can raise their own queen. So right now let's go ahead and see if we can find the queen. Look up top, make sure she's not on the top. She I don't see her there. Alright. Okay, now we begin looking for the queen. This is a full frame of honey. Honey on that side. On this side it's just drawn comb. I'll look for the queen here. Don't expect to see her on a frame of honey. Set that one down. Another full frame of honey. Let's get a quick look for her.
Notice how nice and calm the bees are. This is a this frame's got pollen down in there as well as honey. I do see drones. If you can see some of the drones on there, they're the big fatter ones. They don't have stingers. And maybe you can see some of the pollen down in there, and that's kind of hard because I'm in the barn. I didn't see the queen there either. I'll set this one aside. So this has got brood. And I do see some larvae there. Bring it over and show you in a moment there. This is lots of cap brood here. So there's the Cap brood. It's a queen cup, several queen cups. I'm going to need to walk over to the light, and make sure there's no eggs in there. Okay, those queen cups are empty. Now this is lots of cap brood, worker and drone. Try to show you the difference here. Down on the very bottom is the drone brood. Notice it's larger. It's larger than the regular worker capped brood. These frames I would like to leave here with this hive because this is the hive that's going to be raising a queen. It's if I can find the queen and move her over to the box. Lots of cap brood. Definitely a lot of drones. More queen cups, but they're empty. Oh, and there's the queen. Okay. So, I'll try to hold this so I can point her out here. This turned around. So the queen is right here near my finger. I'll try to. She's got a green dot right there. I'm hoping you can see her in the video there. There she goes. Right up there. So we're going to move her into this box. Now we know she's safe. Right there. Okay. Now, we're going to check this last frame. So I'll put this 
frame that's got nectar and pollen in it and plenty of places for her to lay more eggs. Put that in there. We've got a nice frame of honey. So we're going to put this in there also. Take this empty one out. So they'll have a nice frame of honey to uh, eat on. How this looks. So this was the this was the frame with the queen on it. Got a, some pollen, some honey, and nectar. I'm going to give them some more. I'm going to slip this one down in there. Take that empty frame out. Okay. And I need one more frame down in there. So here's a one that's got a lot of brood on it. Nectar. And more brood. So we're going to give that to them. So there's the first five frames. So I'm going to take these, take them down to my truck. I'm going to take them down to my truck and transfer them from this box into the hive that I have sitting in the back of the truck. I'm going to come back up, get another five frames, take them down, but making sure that I'm leaving ten frames here in this the original hive that's going to be queenless so that they can start raising their own queen. So I've taken the first five frames out. Now I want to take another five more frames. First thing I'm going to do is tip it up and just make sure there aren't any swarm cells on the bottom. Bring it back. Tip it up. I'm going to give them a little bit of smoke there so I can see what's on those frames. And then look with my flashlight. If there were swarm cells, that would be fine. I could leave them. I don't see any. Oh, there's some red pollen coming in. An orange. Nice. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and check this out down below. Although this hive is going to have the majority of the uh, workforce, the foragers, they're still coming in and out. So I'm not as worried about this hive. I need to make sure that the other one I'm splitting off of this will have plenty of honey and uh, pollen. Because they're going to be at a new location. And nectar there. So I think we're going to put this one over in the box to go with the other bees. Okay, I can see larva. Good. This is a good frame that we're going to leave behind for this hive. I've got two more frames that I'm going to pull out. I want to drop some more honey and pollen in there. I've got that inside the house. I had it frozen from last year. So I'll pull these out, give them another uh, frame of honey and a frame of pollen. That'll be the 10 frames 
uh, for this one going to Birchardville. And then as we head over to this hive here, I'm going to add the other frames to this one, and that'll be 10 equalized here also. So they should be able to raise their own queen without any issues. I'm going to shake these into here. It's a lot of... There you can see the brood. There is larva in there for them to draw out the queen. And we'll push these together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need two more frames in here. Then we're going to shake this one down. This is mostly honey, so we're going to put it right on the outside wall. We know that they've got plenty of honey here brewed to raise their own queen. And I do want to add all the rest of these bees that are here back in on those frames back into this hive here. Now this is, I'll show you, this has some drawn comb and some frames that they're going to need to draw out. So here's some that's already drawn and then some that is not, but it's wax coated. So those bees will start moving up into there. Let me go ahead and shake these like that. Set it over here so that the bees can make their way back in. Now we're going to put the cover back on. So we're done with that. The next thing is to take the rest of these bees down to the truck, get them put in there, and then it's off to Birchardville to get this hive set up. So we made the trip to Birchardville. Going to be taking this hive here and we're going to place it over in this area here. But I want you to listen to them. You can really hear they are not happy for making that trip. It's a bumpy road, but we did make it. Hallelujah. Now let's get them set up. Okay, so you got the hive set up. It's not going to tip. I'm going to leave them here for a little while, let them calm down before I open it up to put the inner cover on and another brood box.
I just removed the front entrance which was blocking them in and now I'm gonna remove the top cover and put on the other brood box so they have plenty of space in there Looks good. We'll keep you updated on how this is hive number one, uh, Queen Victoria. And we'll just have to move where she's located. And the original hive, still back at the La Plume apiary, that will become hive number one. This will become hive number nine. Thanks for watching.